up before light and told us we had 15 minutes to get up and, and leave. Homeless campers in southeast Portland face eviction, but they say they're staying put. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. Now, some say this is a population that's growing. Others say they're just more visible. Whatever the case, homelessness is still an issue every week at City Hall. Our Tim Becker is digging deeper into it, and he has more now from the newsroom. Tim. Jennifer, I paid a visit to that camp near I-205 tonight, and I also spoke with mayoral candidate Ted Wheeler about homelessness in Portland. He's promising to tackle the problem head on if elected, a challenge he moved a step closer to today. I went down to City Hall today and I filed in person, so I'm officially a candidate for mayor of Portland. On the same day that Ted Wheeler turned in his paperwork to run for office, Belden Dewing was setting up shelter for a fellow camper. About 12 hours after ODOT crews rolled up to enforce a no camping ordinance. What were you saying to them today? They were asked to leave today. ODOT is not a law enforcement agency and doesn't have the authority to remove anybody from there, but we can't ask them to leave, and that's what we did today. A whole bunch of people from the community came up here and told ODOT that they were going to have to call the police because they're not going to make these people leave. Belden says ODOT has left them alone for now, but their camp has until January 4th to clear out. One of many such sites stirring debate as officials struggle to deal with the issue. Part of the issue is now homeless people seem to be better equipped. Mayor Charlie Hales tells us the homeless numbers haven't necessarily risen the last two years. They're just more visible, with tarps and tents replacing cardboard and sleeping bags. I actually am convinced that the homelessness situation has gotten worse. Wheeler thinks a bit different. He sees a growing problem and on his campaign platform is an initiative to eventually ensure an emergency shelter bed for every person sleeping on the streets. At best, homelessness camps uh, are a short-term Band-Aid solution. What we got to do is get people indoors where it's dry, particularly these families with kids. It would be nice. It would be so nice. Belden just wants a place to call home and tells me he'll stay here until he's forced out. I'll write it out because there's a lot of people who need this, you know, need something like this. And, you know, I'll write it out for them. It is ODOT land that they are camping on, and the agency says it's un inherently rather unsafe to stay there. They do plan to do something about it by next Monday, so we're going to follow the situation and keep you updated. Jennifer? Yeah, let us know, Tim. Thank you for